Hello, this is Vanessa Weber from Builder.com, and I'm here with Abigail Friedland at the Uptown Apartments, and she's the project manager. She's going to tell us a little bit about the property. Abigail, how are you? Very good, thank you. Good. So tell us a little bit about Uptown. Uh, Uptown is a public-private partnership with the city of Oakland. There are 665 uh, residential units here, 9,000 square feet of retail, and a new public park. Very nice. And how long did this take to get up and running? How long was the whole process? So the entitlements probably started about eight years ago. There's actually, the city of Oakland has been working on this project since the mid-80s of trying to figure out how to entice retail and entice people to come back to the city of Oakland um, to spend their dollars and to have the opportunity to make the city work after dark. But this project that four cities got involved again back about seven and a half, eight years ago. Oh, wow. Okay. And then so how long have you had people actually living in the Uptown Apartments? Uh, the first building opened here in March of 2008, uh, the second building in June of 2008, and the last one in November of 2008. So people have been living there off and on since that time. And I know that you're LEED Silver certified. Can you tell us a little bit about the process to get that certification and also why and how you are certified? Uh, so one of Forest City's core goal values is sustainability. And so all of our new projects that we do when we go to investment committee, we have to give them a minimum certification score sheet. We use the LEED system from USGBC. And on this project, we were able to get LEED certified um, once we submitted our design review and realized we were actually only a couple of points short of silver. And so we're able in the end to add a couple of minor details to help us uh, get to the LEED silver designation. And we're actually the first multifamily building in Oakland to get LEED certified, let alone silver. Really what the Uptown is and the way we were able to get LEED silver is an amalgam of a lot of different things. We're a transit-oriented development on a brownfield remediation site. Um, we have a parking ratio of 0.8 here. We have a zip car on site. We have recycled material content in our project. Um, so there's a whole bunch of little things that we can chat about as we go through and I can point some of those things out that all add up to allow us to get LEED silver. So we are here in the parking garage and Abigail's going to tell us a little bit about their zip car service. Yep, so one of the nice features that we have here is um, we're transit-oriented development, so we want to encourage people to not have to rely solely on having an automobile. So here we have a zip car that's dedicated only for our residents where we pay the annual membership pay fee, and then they just need to pay it on an hourly basis. Some other things that we have here is we have a point, what we call what's called a 0.8 parking ratio. So instead of one parking space per, per unit, we actually have 0.8, which is less than code. And again, we're trying to encourage people not to have to rely so much on their car so we do something called debundling the parking rent so that if you don't have a car, you don't have to pay for a parking space that you won't ever use. Part of the project that we had to do is some of the off-site improvements, which is streetscape improvements, and then we also built uh, this park on behalf of the City of Oakland. The City of Oakland actually paid for it, so it's a public park. Um, but there are some sustainable features that we can talk about here. One is the use of decomposed granite, commonly known as DG, which reduces the heat island effect, and that's um, an ADA-compliant product that you use in pathways instead of asphalt. The other thing we have is porous pavers to reduce the amount of uh, storm water, water that runs into the storm system. And then we also have a bioswale to capture some of the rainwater um, and prevent it from going to the storm system. The porous pavers are actually throughout all of Uptown. It's not just in the park, correct? Correct. It's on the park and then it's on William Street on the sidewalks. Um, and those are the two areas that we have it. And anybody from the whole city of Oakland can use this park or is it just for Uptown? It's for the entire city of Oakland, so it's one of, a new green space for, that everyone can enjoy. Is there anything that you would like to add about the sustainability of Uptown? So I think there are probably three things we haven't mentioned. One is um, we have an integrated pest management system here, which basically means we're trying to avoid use, the use of chemicals and pesticides and instead trying to be proactive in um, using non-toxic methods for pest control. The other, thing, the other two things I think we should talk about is, one, a third of the products that were used on site uh, were manufactured within 500 miles. The main three things, I think, are the insulation, the windows, and the drywall. And obviously, with such a large project, there's a lot of drywall. And and then the last thing I think is we were able to actually recycle 95% of the construction waste, which is a, a beyond actually the lead target, and we we're really proud of that fact. So, you know, generally this is a project we're very proud of. Um, really delighted that we're able to be the first multifamily project in Oakland to receive lead certification and indeed silver. And I uh, think it's really a sum of all the little things that we we're able to do that helped us achieve that that goal.